Hi, good everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through on OKBots and how to use the OKBots on your computer. So firstly, in order to use OKBots, you need to first of all install Node.js. So if you don't have Node.js installed on your computer, that should be your first step. So to do that, head over to Node.js.org. When you visit Node.js.org, it should present a screen like this. Now click on the download section and on the download section choose pre-built installer now once you choose pre-built installer head over to where it says I want the and scroll down to I want the version 16.20.2 which is this version now make sure you follow this video just as it is and you should have a kickboard working on your computer so having choose version 16.20.2 your next step is to download it onto your computer. Now, after downloading and installing it, everything should work perfectly fine. I already have Node.js installed on my computer, so I will not bother with the installation from the beginning. Now, now you have installed Node.js, the next step is to head over to okbots.com and on the website, click on Download for Windows. Now. I'm going to click on the download for Windows and it should start downloading. It will take quite some time to download, um, approximately within 10 minutes. But if you follow up the link I'm about to show you here, you could get a faster download speed. So okekbots.com is the website, but if you head over to okekbots.net forward slash download forward slash okek bots.exe it will be lots more faster um, we're currently at the office making this video okay back to it so heading over to this link gets you to download ok but faster and if you pay attention right now you will notice that this one is showing two minutes left why the other one was showing about around seven minutes left okay so we're going to exercise patience for the okay bot to download and just after we're done with the download we're going to install the okay bot but before you can install the okay bot it's always advisable to turn on your windows defender so head over to your computer and type windows security and when you type your windows security you should see something like this click on this windows security or windows security settings whichever you prefer let's go with the windows security settings when you click on the windows security settings it would show you a virus protection and threats now if this is turned on turn it off that's because if it's turned on it wouldn't install so for instance I'm currently at the Windows security setting and here I have the virus and threat protection setting I'm going to click on manage settings you can see it's showing real-time protection now all I have to do is to turn this off now once you turn this off you can now proceed into installing OKBot so back again to the website OKBot is currently less than a minute left so we're going to exercise some patience till it completely downloads. Okay, we have less than 10 seconds left. Beautiful. OKBot okay, has been installed. So if you already have an existing OKBot okay, before, this is the point you install it. So before this version, we had released previous version of the OKBots. Okay, and so this previous version of the OKBots okay, are all currently here. 
So the first step is to first uninstall the previous version of Phuket bot you have. So head over to your control panel, if that's your case, and uninstall the previous version. Now since I also have previous version of the OKEG bot, I would uninstall the previous version I have before I proceed into setting up a new one. So I'm currently heading over to OKEG bot version 4.0. You can see this is version 4.0. And I will double click this and uninstall it. The previous version of OKEGBOT has been uninstalled and so now I can install the new version of OKEGBOT I created. So I'm going to install this new version of OKEGBOT. Now it's presenting me with a screen telling me that Windows um, Defender. Now you don't have to bother yourself with this. Just click on more info and click on run anyway. At this point, you'll be presented with the software license, terms and condition. Please make sure you do go through them. And when you're done, click on accept the agreement and click on next. Now this is where you specify where you want the software to be installed. You can leave it here at the default location or install it into somewhere else of your choice. But I would just be installing on the default location. Now, it's saying that this folder already exists. So this simply means that the previous version of OKEGBOT we installed did not install completely and some files might still be there. Now, what I'm about to teach you is simply what you would need to do if you have, not in if you have installed OKEGBOT in the past and you're trying to install a new version. Now, you have to head over to this particular folder where it says Program Files, OKEGBOT, and have it deleted. So I'm going to open up my computer. I'll head over to my computer look for my C drive which is a C drive I will go to program files and I'll look for the OK box beta that was there before this is it and I will delete it now I've successfully deleted the previous version of OK box I can go back again to continue the process now Next, and I'm accepting to create a desktop shortcut. Now, this is going to take a while, but what would currently happen at the moment is every single thing that is needed to run OK Bot will be installed on your computer. This could take up to 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. But this is a 12 gig computer, so I presume it should take less than 3 minutes to get everything all installed. While this installation is going on, I would want to also state that the software is basically every single thing you would want on a bot manager. On OKEGBOT, you can automate tasks and you can also have them deploy traffic to different websites and social media platforms you know, undetectably. So normally in the past, everybody knows you could use a software, a bot software. But the biggest fear has always been on the safety precautions of using the software. Most softwares could make you lose your Google AdSense account or even worse get you demonetized on YouTube or whatever social media platform you're currently an influencer on. Or using OK bots, it bypasses all detection, it retains the bot state and so it is safe to use for any form of automations without the fear of getting blacklisted, detected or getting banned. So in a nutshell, OK bot is safe for whatever automated tax you would want to have it run on your computer. I presume we're done with the installation and I'll click on finish. At this point in time, we're being presented with Align OKBOT okay, have access to our network. This is because OKBOT okay, would basically be setting up a server within our computer. The right way to do this is to tick the both of them, which is allowed to communicate on private and then if you have a Wi-Fi, allowed to communicate on a Wi-Fi. Plus, but please do note that when you tell it to communicate on a public network. This simply means if you're using, for instance, a public Wi-Fi, um, people could actually see your information going through. So it's actually just best to use whatever computer you're going to be using for OK Bot as a personal computer. And I'll explain why in other videos. So I'm going to enable the public network and I'll click on Allow Access. 
Now Cakebot has been fully installed, however, everything is blank. Or Cakebot should always be blank this way, except the software is being turned as an administrator. And I'll show you how to do that within a few minutes. So I'm going to first of all close the OKBot OK app and I'll open it once again. But this time around, there's a different twist to it. I would not open the OKBot OK as I would on a normal app. I would open the OKBot OK as an administrator. So I'm going to open the OKBot OK as an administrator. And then this time around, you're going to see the OKBot OK launch as an administrator and every single thing should work perfectly fine. It will take a couple of minutes to install everything it thinks it might need. This doesn't take time at all, a maximum of 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast the internet connection is. But when it's done with the installation, it should take you into OKBOT, after which you can proceed into using the software. So we're going to exercise a bit patience. In less than 5 minutes, we should have every single thing we need installed. Every single thing we needed to install on okay, OKBot has been fully installed, so the software is now good to go. Now at this point, all you have to do is to click on Next, click on Next, and this is where you put in your API key. If you don't have an API key, good morning, if you don't have an API key and you are in need of one, it's simple. On the website OKBot.com, you can click on the account and sign up for a new account. You can register here by clicking on the register button fill up the form, proceed, verify your email and you would have a free account. But do you have an, an existing account already or have you signed up for one? This is how to get an API key. The moment you log into OKBot, it takes you straight into a dashboard. On this dashboard, you can create an API key. Okay, I think I made a mistake with my login full email okay so currently I am logged into OKBOT and this is my API key testing 1 to 3 now I could decide to change this API key if I want to some other thing and I would explain why you should actually always keep your API key secure. But for this video, I just want to show you how to get your API key. Your API key can always be gotten from the front page, which is API key access. You can simply copy this API key here. Should you want to change your API key to say something, some other thing, I could, for instance, come in here and say something else. Now, as long as no one else uses this API key on OKBOT, you can actually update your API key to it. So I'm going to update my API key to something else. Oh, it says I can't put iPhone, so I'm going to put something else. So I've changed my API key to something else. And I'll head back to the API key access, and I'll copy the something else, or whatever name you named your API key. And I will head back to OKBOT and I would right click and I would control V which is paste that API key and click on authenticate API key. So now I've been able to authenticate my API key meaning I've been able to log in using my API key onto the software and moving over from here I would no longer need any other browser opened aside the browser. So at the moment we only have OKBOT OK on this computer and I'll walk you through the next series of tasks on how to automate virtually anything on OKBOT. OK so this is episode 1 on how to install OKBOT. OK on episode 2 I'll show you how to create tasks on OKBOT. OK